Welcome to Science Saturday. I'm Kasturi Manikam. Today we look at science news ranging from ancient coffins to robotic fish. First, Egypt has unveiled new treasures at an ancient site. One of the biggest is this queen who died around 4,200 years ago. She is the wife of King Teti, the first pharaoh of the sixth dynasty of Egypt's old kingdom. More than 50 other burial shafts dating back to the new kingdom around 3,000 years ago have also been found together with ancient games, statues and masks. Excavators say these recent discoveries at the Saqqara necropolis south of Cairo will help rewrite the history of ancient Egypt. A robot that mimics a fish without any outside control. Researchers from Harvard University have created a robotic swarm called a Blue Swarm. They are able to circle and disperse just like a real group of fish. Each individual fish robot, called a Blue Pot, is equipped with two cameras and three LED lights. An onboard fish lens camera detects the LEDs of neighboring Blue Pots and utilizes a custom algorithm to determine their location and movement. Experts say this project can help in monitoring and protecting the environment. A hydraulic system issue is the cause of an early engine shutdown of NASA's moon rocket. The weekend's eight-minute test firing of the space launch system core stage was cut short after about 60 seconds. Officials are still deciding on whether to ship it to the Kennedy Space Center for launch preparations without re-attempting the eight-minute test fire. The SLS is a major piece of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972. Climate change will alter the position of the Earth's tropical rain belt. The rain belt will move north in parts of the eastern hemisphere. This means more drought stress in southeastern Africa and Madagascar and intensified flooding in southern India. It will also move south in areas in the Western Hemisphere. This will cause a greater drought stress in Central America. Without intervention, this latest finding could threaten food security for billions of people. This has been Science Saturday. Thanks for watching.